now let us start study dispersal of seed through flow chart this is the flow chart of the dispersal of seeds so dispersal of seed a short definition is scattered away from the mother plants it is known as the dispersal of seeds so it is divided into 1 2 3 4 part it first part is dispersal of seeds by wind so which seeds are dispersed by wind so example is here cotton seeds dandelion seeds and maple seeds these are the examples of the dispersal of seeds by wind next is dispersal of seeds by water examples water lilies coconut pine etc these are the examples of the dispersal of seed by water next is dispersal of seed by animals examples mango orange and guava etc these are the examples of the dispersal of seed by animals next is dispersal of seed by explosion this example is pea bean and lady fingers etc these are the examples of the dispersal of seeds by explosion and this is the flow chart of the dispersal of seeds now it is the complete now let us start the new topic it means plants that grow from other plant parts it means plants are grow so many plants in previous class you already knowing ki a plant has many parts like stem roots leaves flowers etc parts of the plants so plants also grow from different parts such as stem roots and leaves so now here uh, discuss about the which which parts of the plants uh, plants are grow so let us start the plants that grow from stems so which plants are grow from the stems so some plants like sugarcane money plant and rose these plants are grow from the stem cutting if you have to cut the stems so and uh, stems is grow on the soil and you get the proper water so uh, uh, with the help of the stems a new plants will grow just another examples of potato plants potato potato is a stem so if you grow a new potato plants so you cut the stems and grow underground potato is a underground stem plant so you you have to cut the potato of uh, cut potato a stem that grow underground it has buds buds is also known as eyes so each eyes can grow into a new plants another example ginger and onions these are the also is the examples of the stem so it is uh, also underground stems and buds present in gingers also give rise a new plants so these are the plants that grow from the stems this is a diagram potato this is the buds 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 its eyes this is a ginger and this is the rose so these are the plants that grow from the stems next is plants that grow from roots so some plants such as beetroot carrot and sweet potatoes that are grow from their roots this okay so next is so let us start here activities ki how um, a plants throw the stems so you have take a sweet potato and take a glass and fill it with water and take four needles uh, yeah toothpicks insert the needle from all four sides of the sweet potatoes and hang it from the top of the beaker the lower end of the sweet potato should touch the water in the beaker keep the setup out in sunlight enjoy the sweet potato giving rise to the new plants okay so these are the activities to grow the plants 
from stems so next point is plants that grow from leaves some plants are grow from the limbs leaves so such as bryophyllum bryophyllum is a plants that grow from the leaves and that is the uh, developed buds on their leaves when the leaves fall off the ground many new plants grow from the buds so bryophyllum is the examples of the plants that grow from the leaves is it clear now next is the plants that grow from spores so some plants such as mushroom mushroom plants fern plants mosses these are the grow from their spores so they do not bear flowers mushroom these plants are not bear the flower so they do not produce seeds seeds only produce those are having flowers and mushroom these are not having bear the flowers so they do not produce seeds M mature plants produce spores on the underside on the leaves when these spores germinate they grow into a small plants so these are the points stems root leaves spores these are the plants that grow from other plants parts so let us study this plants that grow from other parts through the flow chart this is the flow chart related with the plants that grow from other plant parts so first part is plants that grow from stem so which plants are grow from the stems examples ginger onion sugarcane rose these are grow from the stems you for cutting uh, in this plants so new plants that germinate with the help of the stems next is plants that grow from roots so which plants are grow from the roots examples beetroot carrot sweet potato etc these are grow from the roots and which plants are grow from the spores mushroom fern mosses these are the grow from the spores so this is the flow chart okay that related to the plants grow from the other plants parts 